I try and remember the world the way it used to be, but it gets harder every day. So many different stories of defeat. So many faces of death.
Connor. Where's Giffen and Lewis? Ah, machines. Come on, let's keep moving. Let's get out of here before that thing reboots. This way. Everyone's upstairs. Well, I'll be. I was sure at sunrise y'all were dead. Well, Peters, where are the choppers? No choppers, buddy. It's too hot here. We're gonna go by truck. You head south to where it's safer, evac from there. All right, so where are the trucks? What? It was... Sounds like that HK rebooted. What's the plan, coach? Wells, Rogers, take up positions near the windows with Peters and his men. Draw its fire and take out any aerostat supporting it. Blair, I want you and Connor to focus on shooting it down. You got any extra RPGs lying around? Yeah. Come on, John! You heard the girl, Connor. Grab an RPG and get to work. Come on! Lay down some cover! We got you covered. Take out that HK! Whoa! Use that launcher, Connor! Boss! Get out of here! Move, people! Alright, let's roll!
okay? Yeah. Yeah, we're good. Come on. Come on. Something's off, man. Something's off, I can feel it. Endo! Peters! Check and see if there's a way down from here. I'm on it. All right, everyone underground. Let's go, people. Pick up the pace, people. I'm not looking to get left behind. Stay close together and stick to cover. Come on, Connor. Heads up, aerostats! Take out those wasps! Marks, scout ahead. Make sure the area's clear. Roger that, Rogers. Quit screwing around. I'm gonna draw his attention! You two flank it! Take it down from behind! On it! Come on, Connor! We gotta flank this thing! Well done! Here comes some more! Flank them! Come on, Connor, get around behind them!
Finally. Something's wrong. Where is everyone? Maybe we're too late and missed the evac. Maybe they're all dead. Or maybe they're just being smart. Names? Rogers, Connor, and Williams, sir. Hey, Chief. Uh, looks like we're about ten minutes out. Suggest you get everyone prepped for evac. Over. All right, saddle up, kids. We're going home. And then what? Then what do we do? We'll see what Command wants to do. <laughs> I can't wait to see what brilliant plan they cook up next. Is if they didn't get enough of us killed today. Come on, Blair. Don't tell me. Come on. Maybe if you took some responsibility for once in your life, we wouldn't be taking orders from Captain Crunch over here. Arrowstead! Outside! Arrowstead's incoming! Rogers, take Connor and Williams with you! Maybe a couple more men! Keep those things away from the building! Let's go! Connor, Williams, outside, now! Don't let them reach the store! Hey, y'all, they're coming from the right! John Connor. I copy you, Weston. Oh man, am I glad to hear you. Okay, I thought everyone had gone. Okay, we... This is Connor, do you copy? Come in. Can you hear me? David. Damn it! Damn, dude. You hear that guy? Survivors? They're screwed. Ain't no way to get back to him. All right! Listen up, people! Got to clear a landing site for the choppers. Grab your gear and get ready to move out. You and you, keep watch over the wounded. Connor, Williams, Simpson, up on the roof. Everyone else, outside. Wait, wait, wait a minute. What about that SOS? The survivors? There's no time for that now, Connor. Just do as you're told. What? Now's not the time. Connor, you there? Have you asked command to send evac for us? We're working on it. In the meantime, find someplace safe to wait this out. David? David! Find a way to get to you.
This is John Connor calling all pilots. You're free to land in the street, southeast of the original evac point. Are you sure about that? Yes, but you better hurry. We got company on the way. the survivors. Our orders are to clear the evac point and return to base. We can't just leave them. They're as good as dead, and so is anyone I send in after them. What happened to every life is sacred? I'm sorry, Connor, but there's nothing we can do. Like you mean it, people, I want this place clear in 60. Get on board, Connor, now! What are you doing, John? Taking some responsibility. Look, if we leave them behind, we're no better than the machines. Connor, I am ordering you to get on this chopper. Just go. Before it gets here. Before what gets here? I'm sorry, John. Oh, I know I'm going to regret this. John! David? You copy. We're on our way to get you. Harvester! Run! get us killed? That was close! We gotta go! Move! 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 Whoa! Finally. John Connor calling David Weston. Do you copy? Yeah, yeah, we hear you, Connor. Still pretty far from your position. We're progressing on foot, so they're going slow. Connor, repeat. Did you say you were on foot? How many, how many of you are there? Just two of us now. There's only two of you. Don't worry, David. We'll make it work. You do have some kind of plan, right? Yeah. We make our way to the L.A. River, follow it back to Skynet territory. And when we get there? I'm still working on it. Mayday, Mayday! This is Sam Dobkin of Rescue Team Epsilon! Edward Reapy! Repeat! Controls are not responding! We're coming down hard! We need to check for survivors. This is John Connor. We have your position, Dobkin. We're on our way. You copy? Let's take him out. Dobkin, if you can hear me, this is John Connor. We're almost at your location. Got held up by Skynet. Dobkin to Connor. We got him here, too. Be careful.
Follow me! This is John Connor. We're coming up behind the enemy. We'll be at your location soon. All right, don't get caught in the crossfire. Pleased to meet you, Connor. Wish it was under better circumstances, but hey, what you gonna do, right? Pleasure's all mine. Listen up, everyone. Take whatever you can salvage from the chopper. We gotta move, they'll be back. Zalter! Angie! Come on, get your head together. Help the others. Deckard! Yeah, boss? Look after her. We gotta move. Hey there, Angie. I'm Blair. You're gonna be okay now. I'm right here with you. We got company! Take cover! Blair, look after Salter! Connor, flank the machines! Come on, Angie, shoot him! Angie, behind you! I can't do this alone, Angie, you've got to fight! Let's go. Further away we get from here, the better. Where exactly are we going? Head north. Walk all the way home if we gotta. Wouldn't be the first time. Well, we're not going with you. We've got other business here. What kind of business? Only thing left here is Skynet. Some of our men are still trapped in Skynet territory. We're going to get them out. <laughs> That's a death sentence, Connor. For them and for you. 
Anyway, I heard there was uh, one of those old resistance outposts nearby. We could resupply there, then head our separate ways. All right? Works for us. Thanks. Keep moving. Stay away from me! Damn it! Where are you, Dobkin? <clears throat> Told you to trust me. This way.
We got it. Good job, Dobkin. Sam? Sam? Why didn't you say something? I figured you had more important things to worry about. Don't worry about me, just, just keep fighting the fight. Don't let them win. You have my word. You're a good man, John Connor. You're a good man. If we push east, I think we can be back in Skynet territory by nightfall. Wait, I thought we were headed back to base. Not until we've rescued David and the others. You're actually gonna go through with this stupid plan of yours? I'm not leaving them to die. You're putting my life at risk and hers because you have a guilty conscience? Hey, if it was you that was stuck out there and needed help, you'd want us to do the same for you. No, I wouldn't. I'd be dead, just like they're gonna be. Rounds for you. This isn't working. At the rate we're moving, we'll never make it to Eagle Rock. So let's call it a day and head for base. You know, where it's safe. We need to change our perspective. He's got a point, Angie. Try and be less negative. Excuse me? That's not what I meant. 
Look, if we can get to the top of that building, we'll be able to see where all of Skynet's patrols are. We can plot a route back to Eagle Rock that avoids them. You sure it's safe? Angie, we're in a war zone. Hey, John, here's some ammo. Thanks. Look, survivors, we're with the Resistance! Do you need help? Something's not right. It's a trap! Keep him distracted! I'll take him out! That's the last of them. Nice work. Never seen endos like this before. Looks like they're coated in some kind of rubber skin. It's an early model infiltrator, designed to blend in with the Resistance and destroy us from within. Rubber skin on a T-600. Easy to spot, but the 800s, they'll have real human skin. What are you talking about? We should go before any more of them show up. Come on, Connor. What's an 800? What do you know that we don't? Machines incoming! Can someone spare a few rounds?
Look at that thing. It's falling apart. It's lasted this long. It'll last another 20 minutes. You've got to be kidding me. Got some wasps buzzing around outside. They're gonna call in the big guns. Not if they don't see us. Stay low and keep behind cover. So much for not being spotted, huh? To the stairs! Let's go! Grab that rocket launcher! Damn! HK! Hit it with the rocket! Now! Listen, there's too many machines on the streets. We'll never make it that way. But I do have an idea. Let's hear it. Union Station is nearby. We use it to go underground into the subway system. Follow the tracks all the way to Eagle Rock. You think it'll be any safer down there? Guess anything's better than staying topside. Besides, this is LA. No one ever uses the subway. I was just thinking about how nice it'd be to take a real shower with real water pressure. Not like those showers back at the base. You know where the water just drips out. Ah, <sighs> a real shower. You mind if I tape her mouth shut? Ladies, we're a team. We need to work together. Fire! We gotta flank these guys! Uh. Skynet knows we're here now. Thanks, people!
Take cover! above us. We're so screwed. Follow me! David, it's Connor. Just letting you know we're heading underground, so we'll be out of touch for a bit. How long until you get here? It's hard to say, David. We're still a ways out. The place used to be so beautiful. The Spanish architecture, the marble floors. I'm such a mess, I'm so sorry. We're right here with you, Angie. It's gonna be okay. Wait a second. Look at this. Looks like the entire platform is rigged. This doesn't look like resistance work. Maybe it's just old. Hardly any dust. It's recent. Expertly done, too. Wonder who built it. Better question is why they built it.
I heard stories, you know, about people who went crazy after Judgment Day. They're crawling around in places like this, eating each other to stay alive. <laughs> you mean cannibals? And did they hunt with mutant dogs, too? Don't laugh. I heard they've taken over Fullerton. That's why Command never sends anyone near there. Those are just stories, Angie. There's no such thing as monsters. John. Cut yourself. I said cut yourself. Now what? We've heard rumors of machines with rubber skin. Supposed to look like people. Guess you ain't one of them. But that still doesn't explain what you're doing down here. My name is John Connor. This is Blair and Angie. We're on a mission to rescue resistance fighters trapped behind enemy lines at the Eagle Rock Skynet facility. <laughs> the three of you are gonna infiltrate Eagle Rock when the whole resistance just got their asses handed to them. <laughs> That's a likely story. Tell me what you're really up to. What I told you is true. Command refused to send help, so we're going it alone. We know the risks. We'll give you food and water, plus whatever other supplies we can muster. But I'm warning you, we lived in these tunnels for years without Skynet bothering us. If you brought them to our doorstep, I'll kill you with my own two hands. Understood. Thank you. Barnes is our quartermaster. He's a big guy, bald with a beard. Sinks to himself a lot. Can't miss him. He'll get you what you need. Anyone gives you trouble, just holler. Name's Warren. Those resistance jigs ain't bad. Did you see the way Warren treated them? I was just playing wrong. So? I don't trust them. Look, they could be up to something. Hey, are you Barnes? The one and only. <laughs> right. Well, I'm John Connor. Warren said you'd help us out. I need rations. Three people for three days. Plus whatever medical supplies you can spare. <laughs> what, y'all planning a camping trip? Something like that. Yeah, well, you need to watch your backs. Some mean old bears out there in the woods. If you know what I'm saying. Yeah, we've seen our share of them. Well, come this way then. Machines! The machines followed you here. You've endangered all of our lives. I gotta kill you, but I'll let Skynet do it for me. Barnes! Take this waste of space and make sure our security system is working. Buy us enough time to get everyone out of here. I'm two steps ahead of you, man. I'm coming with you. Come on, follow me. managed to piss Warren off. He's right, though. The machines must have followed us here. It's our fault. He said no one's bothered you guys for years. Don't listen to him. Man, it happens every couple of months. Skynet finds us. We pack up and we run. He just likes to have a scapegoat. Okay, here's how we gonna do this. You keep the robots off of me while I set the charges. On my signal, we run like hell. You got it? Did you just call them robots? They're robots, right? What else should I call them? Fine. 
No problem. Fix it? Yeah, but it might take a minute. Y'all ain't got nothing to say, huh? No one's complimenting me on my handiwork. Come on. You designed that trap? One of my specialties. Barnes, you did a great job. You'd be an asset to the Resistance. Yeah? We should talk about that later. Right now, though, we gotta hustle. John, Blair! All right, that's the last of them. We're good to go. You three, ride with me. What are you gonna do now? Get out of Los Angeles. We'll have to find a new place to hide. We're never gonna win this war if we keep running from the enemy. Sorry, sweetheart, but this is a war we're never gonna win, no matter what we do. Ready your weapons, people. Pass us! 
some of our people on the platform up ahead. We gotta get them on board. No, we'll be killed! Don't listen to him, Barnes. We're getting those people. All right, get them on board! Board. Come on, people! Move! Get on the train! Spiders! Keep them away from the train! Here come more machines! We should just go! We're not gonna make it! Let's go, Angie! Take him down! Endo! Come on, are you kidding? Let's go, people! Move! Come on, move! Robot, hurry up! Let's clear the place out. Barnes, how many people we still need to get on board? Almost got them all. We're clear. That's everybody right there. Let's go. Everyone okay? Yeah. I'm all right. Grab your stuff and let's go. Where are we going? To the depot where we keep the vehicles. We'll get cars and rendezvous with the others en route. This is John Connor calling David... Ah, <laughs> oh, man. What was that? <laughs> That's Skynet jamming your signal. It's coming from their surveillance facility. Up in the hills. What is that thing? It's how Skynet keeps watch on the city. They're up there scanning the surface, looking for survivors. It's the reason we have to live underground. Keep close to us and keep the machines busy. There's special short waves in each vehicle. Skynet can't jam them. Or at least they can't jam them very well. Put them on. Let's go! Take that! 
right, Warren. This is where we part ways. We're headed back to Eagle Rock. You brought a lot of trouble to our doorstep. Still, in the end, you came through. If you change your mind, you're welcome to stay with us. Thanks. I appreciate it. But we're going after our guys. Do you even realize where you are? You're right under Skynet's eyes and ears. And <laughs> you want to set out on foot? Hell, they're even jamming your radios, keeping you from talking to each other. You'll never reach your men. Not as long as that thing's still standing. Then we'll destroy it. <laughs> the two of you? Alone? No. Not alone. Thought you were coming with us. I wanted to. I can't live like you do. Suit yourself. I'm going too. I'm tired of spending my life on the run. After all I've done for you, Barnes? You're idiots! All of you! It's suicide! It may be. But I'd rather die for a reason than live without one. <laughs> yeah. Nice knowing you. Thanks for coming along. You don't have to do this. I know I don't, but we're here, so... What's the next step? If that tower is the source of our problems, it's gotta go. Well, well, well. Looks like John Connor's come up with a plan. End of the road. Nah, man, we're just getting started. Looks like it's less than a mile from here. We'll be there in no time. been so long since I've been topside. Forgot how beautiful it can be. I miss it. How it used to be. That's all. Just miss it so much. I don't think we're alone. Did you see that? It's just the light playing tricks on you. Robots don't sneak around. If they were here, we'd know it. Skin job, get to cover!
Incoming skin job, man. Here we go again. You heard him! Go around behind them! We gotta flank these things, people! Man, I always hate a spider. Barnes, you and me flank this one! Angie, cover me! One, above us! Take these things! the last of them. All right. Let's move before they come back. Hold up. see any guards or sentries, but that doesn't mean there aren't any. We stick to cover. Move in groups of two. Inside, we'll cover the doorways while Barnes wires the C4. We good? Yeah, I'm good. Right behind you, Connor. Something ain't right. No robots in here. They don't need guards. We're probably the first humans to ever set foot inside this place. Or it could be a trap. Yeah, I'm voting trap. I wish we had a computer. There's all kinds of useful information flowing through this place. The generator should be close. Can't you hear them? Hope so. The further in we go, the longer it's gonna take to get out of here. Follow me. I'm telling you, man, this doesn't feel right. Either we're in the wrong place or... Just stay alert. If they attack... When they attack... We'll be ready for them. set up a perimeter. I'm gonna see if I can pull one of these drives. Careful, John. They're redundant, so Skynet shouldn't know they're missing. What good is that? Depends what kind of information they're storing here. Schematics, access codes, flight plans, who knows? Damn. I don't hear anything. Set off the alarm. They don't need to hear it. They know we're here. They'll come through that door. Guys, buy me some time. Constant fire! Don't let him get Barnes!
blows up, so let's get out of here. Took you long enough. Lead the way, John.
We've got about eight minutes left. Can you disable the charges? It's way too late for that now. Don't let the machine slow us down. Keep moving down the hall. Controls. Here they come! Take cover! Look for the controls! I'll do it! Angie, no! Connor, I have faith in you. Angie. She back there. John, you inspired her. You inspired all of us to join you on this mission. And now she's dead. She was right, you know. She said it was a suicide mission. Why are you talking like this? Connor. You read me, Connor? Repeat. John Connor, this is David Weston. Can you read me? Yeah, David. I'm here. Oh, man. I'm trying to raise you forever. And almost giving up hope. Please tell me you're still on the way. Yeah. We're still coming. We're just a few miles out. We'll be there soon. This is John Connor calling Resistance Command Bakersfield. Do you copy? Repeat. This is John Connor calling... John Connor? You're alive? Thought you went down with Murphy's chopper. Listen, Linda, we're going back into Eagle Rock on a rescue mission. Can you back us up with air power? Buy us enough time to get in and rescue our men? Wish I could. Last time we tried that, their carrot shredded our birds. And then there's that harvest. Right. Well, what if I told you that won't be a problem? All right. She's good to go. She'll steer herself straight to Skynet, stopping at all our primary targets. Only problem is, I've still got no way to control her guns remotely. You do now? Look, uh, I, I, I'm, I'm not too good with apologies, but, uh, we were almost out of the city when we saw your fireworks display. I don't know how you did it, but me and some of the men started talking and we figured, well, you know, if you got this far on your own, imagine what you can do with some help. Skynet's anti-aircraft turrets. How you planning to do that? These plasma cannons will rip through just about anything Skynet can throw at us. There's also the Gatling gun.
go, Connor! We're taking heavy damage! Central Command, take the remaining turrets offline another way. On foot, huh? We don't have a lot of options. Can you get any more of those turrets? Maybe a few, but this thing's falling apart. Destroyed that one. Where's the next one? Three of your best men. We'll go in, get our guys out, and then get those anti-aircraft guns offline. Jones, Washington, Torres, go with Connor. The rest of you, fan on. Take down any remaining machines. We need to ensure Connor and his squad makes it inside. Because if they don't get these turrets down, all of us are in a world of hurt. Hey, Connor. Good luck. Really did some damage, Connor. They didn't know what hit them. Well, they know now, and they're none too ah. happy about it. Aerostats incoming, y'all. Most of the turrets are down. Taking the last of them offline the old-fashioned way. Are the planes ready? They're circling. Under orders to maintain minimum safe distance.
Follow me! John Connor to David Weston. We're approaching your location. Is your emergency beacon working? Uh, that's good to hear, Connor. It should be working. I'll turn it on now. I was afraid to use it in case the machines picked up the signal. Just hurry in case they do. We're on our way. Follow me! Amazing. It's just amazing. We don't have a lot of time. Washington, Torres, and Jones will escort you back to our vehicles where you can get medical attention and wait for evac. Hey, you, you're not resistance. Who are you? They can fill you in later. Right now, I need to figure out how to get inside that building. You have any ideas? The service tunnels. They're tight, but they'll take us there. Us? I'm going with you, Connor. The least I can do after everything you've done. I can't ask you to do that. You're not. Let's go. You guys good? Yeah, we're good. Get those guys back to the trucks. And be careful. We'll have to split up. Barnes, you and Weston flank from the right. Me and Blair will come around from the left. Stick to cover and move fast. You ready? Yes, sir! Hell yeah! Let's do it! Endo! Barnes! Watch out for David!
in the cover, Chief. This is John Connor calling Resistance HQ. Do you copy? We hear you, Connor. Go ahead. I'm going to bring the turrets offline. Give us five minutes or so to get out of here, then blanket the place. Great work. We got choppers coming in to evacuate boys. Where should I have them be? There's some wounded men by the outer wall. Get them out first. Copy that. You almost done in there? Yeah. The program just needs to run for a few minutes. Then help us fight off these machines! system to send out an EMP. We're forced to shut down. They'll reboot in a few minutes, so we better get out of here. Okay. Follow me. John Connor, to all available resistance pilots, commence your bombing run. Asking why we did it. Why we sacrificed so much for just three men. But it wasn't about the numbers. It was about the message. It was about principle. I think in time they'll understand. I think deep down they already do. It was just a small victory that day, but already things are different. All around me, I see change. I used to think of the world the way it used to be, and try to find strength in those old memories. But now 
I think of the future instead, of the world we're going to create. And it gives me faith.